Greetings exiles. So it's time for a new build. To be honest, I didn't know what build I wanted to make next, but I knew for sure it had to have the new OP gloves. Tanuahi. Vengeance Cascade. The best damage aura in the game, Hatred. And Heat Shiver, which to my surprise the developers didn't change in 3.21. In addition, I decided it was time to try out the new league mechanic because I was totally ignoring it, but my new build should definitely have some weapons with very strong passive skills. I ended up realizing that my next build would be Spectral Shield Throw Deadeye with Cold Damage Conversion. I will start my video with the most interesting and exciting part of Path of Exile, which is leveling. I started with Caustic Arrow and was very surprised that at the very beginning, instead of useful pierce, they gave us useless momentum support. Okay, not the most critical changes. At level 12, it was time to choose a skill, which I will use until the end of the campaign. Originally, I wanted to try Nerf Poisonous Concoction because I was curious to see how much worse it got. But then I remembered another skill that I've wanted to try for a long time. And that is Reign of Arrows. Even though it's not the beginning of the league anymore and I have access to Twink Gear, I decided not to use it and went through the axe as if it was a league start. This was my first time playing this skill and it pleasantly surprised me. It has very good damage and I didn't have any problems at all, so I got through the campaign very quickly and comfortably. In addition to Reign of Arrows, I used Artillery Ballista for single target damage. So if you decide to make this build, I recommend you use exactly the combination of these two skills for a smooth leveling experience. After a few hours, the final boss is defeated and we can finally play the real Path of Exile game. But before we start testing this character on the maps, we need to go to the shop and buy some important equipment. To get started, we need the following items. Heat Shiver, the unique helmet that actually doubles our damage. Tanu Ahi's new gloves that will give us onslaught and adrenaline. To be honest, I'm not too sure about them, but I decided to try and see for myself if they're worth adding to my build. Emperor's Vigilance is the best shield for Spectral Shield Throw, especially in 3.21 where they added weapon passives for it. I'm buying it without the open passives tree because like I said at the beginning of this video, it's time to play League Mechanic. Maybe I'll get lucky and have something interesting in my shield. The Princess is the best budget weapon for us. Special thanks to the player who sold it to us and made one Chaos Orb trade. Seething Fury, a must-have unique jewel that gives us a lot of damage. And of course, six Link Body Armor. Everything else is rare items with life and resistances. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Amulet with Vengeance Cascade. As you can see, in the beginning I decided to make a budget version of the build and spent a little bit more than one divine orb to test it and see what direction I should go from here. At the same time to show you how the basic version works, because not everyone is able to buy in-game gear right away. However, there is one problem here, and that is cold damage conversion. Since I'm using Tano Ahi gloves, we cannot use Shrimsoro for full damage conversion. So I had to buy a relatively expensive Watcher's Eye, which in combination with Mastery gives us 79% damage conversion. I know it looks a bit scuffed, but it's good for starters. Because the main goal of my video is not to show the final build which is worth dozen divine orbs, but to show the progress. So that you understand what to expect at each of the stages. And of course you can always use Shrimsoro instead of Tanuahi to avoid unnecessary expenses and problems. And the last purchase I decided to make was Taste of Hate. This is the perfect flask for us because it gives us damage and defense, so I highly recommend buying it as soon as possible. Now the character is fully prepared for his first map and I can't wait to see what the end result is. Wait a minute. Now the character is definitely ready. Let's start with T11 maps. I think we are definitely ready for that.
And what about the T16 maps? My second divine orb for this league. Thanks Chris. Especially fun to farm the legion on this build. As you can see the process of map clearing is very fast and efficient and even with not very expensive equipment at level 70, we easily cope with T16 maps. And personally I am very pleased with these results. As for Tanuahi, I like them, and although we don't have 100% uptime for Onslaught and Adrenaline, they significantly increase our speed and damage. But maybe in the end game version we'll have to give them up afterwards. And the Vengeance Cascade is really broken. In combination with Fork and Sniper's Mark we get a lot of extra projectiles, which then come back and do damage again. This will go especially well with Far Shot when we complete our Uber Lab. But unfortunately not everything is as smooth as I would like it to be, because our single target damage is very mediocre. I tested Sniper's Mark with Vengeant Cascade, and for maximum damage you need to stand on top of the boss. Then all extra projectiles will hit the boss. This may not be the most convenient gameplay, but it really allows you to increase your DPS. Also, in some cases I noticed that the damage is different under the same conditions. Maybe not all projectiles that come back do damage, or maybe you need good positioning. I also plan to test Assassin's Mark, Maybe it will be better than Sniper's Mark due to the fact that there will be no complicated interaction between Split, Fork, Pierce, and Chain. Still, we should keep in mind that this is the basic version of the build and we have many ways to improve our single target damage and make it much bigger. That's why I think we won't have any problems with the bosses, but this will be decided in the next video. Personally, I am quite happy with the first results. Build easily copes with almost any map, and does it very quickly. And if you were looking for a fast map clearing character, you probably should try Spectral Shield Throw Deadeye. We certainly have some problems, but they are very easy to solve, and you will see it yourself in my next video. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye everyone and see you in new videos.